Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make it so that people that are using your database don't necessarily know that it's Microsoft Access. Because there's a lot of haters out there, and of course, haters are going to hate. They don't like Access because they heard this or that, or it's not a real database or whatever. So in this video, we're going to show you how to hide it so your database doesn't look like Access. This is a question I get all the time from lots of different people. And in fact, I've done several videos in the past that are going to show you some of what I'm going to talk about today. But in today's video, we're going to put it together in one nice checklist so you can just run down the list and make sure you cover everything. But here's the most recent question I got asked from Shane from Evanston, Illinois, one of my Platinum members. He says, how can I showcase the capabilities of Microsoft Access without making it obvious that I'm using it? Some of my customers don't realize how powerful and awesome Access really is, and they prefer software built with other tools. I want to highlight the functionality and strength of the software I create without drawing attention to it being built in Access. I definitely wouldn't lie about it, and if asked, I'd be honest, but I'd rather they see the quality of the work first without any biases. Yeah, Shane, I've actually got a story of a client that I worked for years ago when I was still building custom databases. I'll never forget this one. I met with the owner of the company and his computer guy, some hardware network consultant he hired. IT guy, we'll call him, right? An IT guy said to me, I heard that Access isn't going to be around much longer, so we'd prefer a custom-built solution that doesn't use Access. So I spent a good half an hour trying to convince this guy that Access is awesome and wonderful, but he wasn't sold on it, and the, and the owner was just kind of sitting there kind of shaking his head through the meeting. So finally, I said, look, I'll put together two proposals for you, one with Access and one with a solution just built in VB. And that was great. We all shook hands. Bye. Well, later on, the owner called me up and said, look, don't listen to him. You're the database expert. You build whatever you think is best. And of course, I built him an Access solution. I just hid the interface. No, you couldn't tell the difference. Now, this was going back to... I'm going to say around 2010, and he's still using it 14 years later. He's had zero problems, and he actually fired that IT guy a couple months later, but uh, that's a whole different story. So, yeah, there's lots of people out there that are going to hate on Access. Don't listen to them. We all know how great Access is. So, in this video, we're going to go down a whole list of things you can do to make sure that it doesn't look like Access as, as much as possible. Yeah, if someone's a computer expert, they're going to figure it out. There are ways around all of this. But to the, the average user, they're not going to know it's access. All right, so the first thing is make sure you got a custom startup form, main menu. That's easy to do. Now, I've got videos that explain how to do most of this in depth. So I'm going to link to you down below in the description all of the other videos I've got that cover this stuff. And of course, make sure you watch my blank template video as well. I cover a lot of this stuff in there too, how to, like how to set the main menu. Okay, but here's my tech help free template. This is a free database. You can grab a copy off my website if you want to. Setting up your main menu is easy. It's just a form with some buttons on it. That other video will describe it in detail. And all you do is go into file and then options. And then under current database, you set that as your display form. Now, I didn't set it as a display form here because I'm using an auto exec macro. And that other video explains this because the auto exec macro also checks to make sure that the database is in a trusted folder. That's a whole different database, a whole different video. <laughs> I'll link to this one down below. Also, if you haven't watched it, um, you're going to have to set it up in a trusted folder. Otherwise, your users are going to get error messages. But that's a whole different video. Like, so go just watch this one, right? <laughs> All right. Next, we're going to put the database in its own folder. And of course, if it's a something you're setting up on a network, you're going to split it. Set up the the back end folder on the server. Set up a folder for the front end. I got whole separate videos on splitting databases. What we're going to do then is put the database in its own folder, the front end too, right? And we're going to create a shortcut to the database with a custom icon. Because with this icon, you can obviously tell it's a Microsoft Access database, right? So make a folder, right? New folder. Wherever you want to put it, I don't care. I'll call it DB for my database folder. Put the database in the database folder, okay? Now, go in the database folder. And I'm just going to name this. Let's call this uh, Rick's DB for Rick's database. You want it to be a nice, simple name. You'll see why in a minute. Okay. Now, we're going to make a shortcut to this on the desktop. All right. Create shortcuts here. 
And you can just change that to just RixDB if you want to as well. It doesn't have to say shortcut on the end. Okay, now, you're going to need a custom icon. You can use one that you find online, or you can make your own in something like Windows Paint. You don't have to make an ICO icon file. You can just make a bitmap file. I cover that in my other video, setting the database title and icon. So go watch this video for more information. So once you got your icon, and I'm also going to grab my splash screen while we're in here. We'll talk about the splash screen in a second. This one and this one, we're going to copy those. We're going to go back to our database folder. And we're going to paste those in here. All right, paste. Okay, now, this is what we're going to use is the icon. This is going to be our splash screen. And I'm going to rename, let's see, this one we can leave as dollar sign. I'm going to rename this one so it's ricksdb.bmp. You'll see why in a second. Okay, now we're going to make dollar sign the icon for the shortcut. All right, right click on it, go to properties, go to change icon, browse. Now, when the browse window comes up, come down here. Let me make this some smaller so you can see it better. Come down here and change this to all files. Okay. Now, it's still browsing to my old location, but I'm going to go to the database folder, which is on my desktop. All right. And then pick that guy and then hit open and then OK. OK. And there you go. Now, we've changed the desktop icon. That's the easy part. That's that simple. Okay, now the splash screen is this thing. It's another bitmap I made. You can make it in paint. I think I made this in PowerPoint and I just uh, screen capped it and saved it as a bitmap. Again, I got a whole nother video about this. Go watch this video on creating splash screens and how they're used. But essentially, it's another bitmap with the same name as the database file with, bit, with BMP on the end, of course, right? Now, I'm going to close this. Watch what happens when I open up the database. Instead of seeing the access logo, you'll see my custom splash screen. There it is. It showed up really quick. Did you see that? Here, I'll do it again. My, my computer's been running really slow the last couple of days. I gotta do some optimizations. Come on. Come on. There it is. See, it, it shows up real fast, but you're not seeing the access logo. That's the important part, right? All right, so that's the splash screen. Yeah, I know I'm jumping around a little bit. You don't have to do these in any particular order, okay? All right, so we got the splash screen set up. Let's set up the application title and icon. All right, application title and icon. That's gonna be in our database. Now, obviously you wanna set up anything inside your database. Like you're gonna get rid of this logo, right? You're gonna change this, okay? But we're gonna to go to file options, go to current database right here, right? Application title, Rick's finance database. And then your icon can be the same thing that you just picked a minute ago. All right, and again, it's on my desktop DB. And again, you got to come down here and pick either bitmaps or all files. There it is. Hit OK. And you can also use this as the form and report icon inside your database if you want to, instead of seeing these things. That's up to you. OK, hit OK. See, there you go. OK, Rick's Finance DB is up here. Most importantly, down here on your taskbar, this is what your access application looks like now. You got the little custom icon there instead of the access logo on your Windows taskbar. All right, next up, we're going to turn the navigation pane off and optionally turn off the full menus and the shortcut menus. All right, this is the navigation pane. We're going to hide this. Your users got no business in there anyways. We're going to create an ACCDE file later so they can't even come in in design mode anyway. And you're going to give them buttons to do whatever they need to do in there, right? We're also going to turn off the ribbon. We're going to turn off the right-click shortcut menus. You don't have to. You can leave any of this stuff on that you want to. But I suggest turning it off and giving them buttons inside your application to do all this stuff. This is all stuff I cover in my simple security video if you want to learn more about this stuff. But you're going to, again, go into File, Options. You're going to turn off Display Status Bar. That's the thing on the bottom of the window. Scroll down a little bit down here. Turn off the Navigation pane. And if you want to turn off the ribbon, turn that off there, and the default shortcut menus, turn that off there. And again, you'll just have to give your user a programmatic way in your code, in your, in your database with buttons and stuff to do the stuff you want them to do, like filters and sorting and all that stuff. Hit OK. Close and reopen the database. OK, there we go. Tomorrow in part two. So come on in tomorrow in part two. So tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel.
Or if you're a member, you can watch it right now because members can watch stuff immediately as soon as I record it, which I'm going to do right now. So, yeah, stick around. Tomorrow we're going to talk about hiding that ribbon and the status bar with a little bit of VBA code. Uh, make sure all the errors are handled, debugging, compiling, compacting, making an ACCDE file, and we'll talk about installing the Access Runtime. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part two. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, Level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the Tech Help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members 
get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my Tech Help videos, plus access to my Code Vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any Tech Help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.